Good afternoon. From the title of this video, you can tell what you're in for. It is going to be a review. Now, I was torn whether or not I wanted to actually do this review. When I first got this tripod, I had all intentions of doing a user review when I got back from my London trip. But I've talked about it off and on in other videos, and I just talked about it in my vlogging with the Sony a6500. But because of that video and throughout the past month or two, I've got a lot of questions about it. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and make this video. So let's get into it. Now I've been using this Sir Yui 3T 35K tabletop tripod for a little over two months now. And I can honestly say this thing is a Jobby Gorillapod killer. Now don't get me wrong, the Jobby Gorillapod still has a lot of uses. A doorstop. A dog toy. Modern art. A cookbook holder. With a little extra oomph. To reach the remote. I have about five main differences between the Jabi and the Sir Yui and why I prefer the Sir Yui. Let's start with size and weight. First off, there's the size. Can you see how, how much smaller, but there's a big butt here. The Sir Yui is expandable. So it is roughly, let's say maybe two, two and a half inches shorter. If you really need that little bit extra height, I don't totally recommend this because you can feel the, the legs kind of give if you're holding it, but if you need that little extra reach to just to get that shot, there you go. The uh, Sir Yui is actually taller than the Jabi. And once you fold it all down, I mean, there we go. Now, before I get into the actual specs of each of these tripods and comparing them, this is the Jabi Gorillapod Focus and Ball Head. This is the big boy. This is the $100 one. With the Sir Yui, I've used the Sony a6500, the Canon 70D, and the Canon G7X Mark I with this tripod with zero problems. The only thing, if you're using the Canon, the Canon is heavier. So you wanna make sure you give a little extra torque on the tightening of the ball head because I have had the camera dive a few times. With the Jabi, I've actually never used it with the Sony and I didn't use it with the uh, Canon G7X because this is 100% overkill for the G7X. I actually used the mini Jobbies, the, the it, Jobby Gorillapod, just the, the mini one, the one that's probably a third this size. But this, used, this was used with the Canon 70D a lot and worked like a champ, held up great. Now, according to Amazon, and I did measure, so it's pretty accurate, but you know, it's it's been used, so it's not 100% straight. The height on the Jabi Gorillapod Focus and Ball Head is roughly 14.69 inches, and the height on the Sir Yui 3T35K compacted is roughly 6.81 inches. So right there, come on, just the size, you could see it. It's just so much smaller. It's so much easier. Now, the main thing, the weight on this Sir Yui is 0.55 pounds, so just over a half a pound. The weight on this, I don't even have to look. I know it's like a pound and a half. Yeah, 1.68 pounds for this setup right here without a camera. So right there, this is three times as heavy as a Sir Yui. I mean, there's really no comparison with the weight. This thing weighs next to nothing. When this is attached to the camera, you honestly don't even know it's there. Now I'm demonstrating this with the Canon 70D because I'm actually filming with the a6500. Now, I normally walk around and I carry the Sony kind of like this with the tripod attached to it. So it kind of dangles around, it weighs almost nothing. I don't even notice this is there. It's all aluminum, so it's super, super light. Now, if you compare that to the Gorillapod, 
that's how much would be dangling off it. Three times as much in weight. The best part about this setup is when I go to film, I don't even necessarily need to use this as a tripod. I use it almost as like a steady cam because now I got two hands on the camera. Because the Sony A6500 is small, so you can kind of cup it, but then you're kind of, both of your arms are stretched out in front of you. So you're either kind of holding it against your body and then you can't see the screen at all, or you got your arms totally out in front of you and that creates stress. When you're doing this, you're kind of holding it from the bottom and one's out. So it really, it really gives you a nice smoother pan. So without having a steady cam or carrying a gimbal, this is awesome. It's so easy and you don't even know it's there. It weighs nothing. Now let's get into versatility. Now because this tripod is already so compact, when you're trying to get that low shot, it's right there. You're already nice and low. If you need to extend it and get that higher shot, you just bam, you're good to go. To get that same low shot with the Jobby, I mean, Now tell me that wasn't way more difficult and completely unnecessary. Also, after you're done and you're trying to straighten these legs back out and they're all, all all over the place, that's a pain in itself. And when you're trying to get that high shot, I mean, now you still have to worry about all these legs and trying to get it straight and the legs aren't straight and then such a pain. And if you really want to take note, that's maybe one inch shorter and that's being generous. Now you want to do a bit of a pan. This is one of the very few downfalls of this tripod. Can you see that? It only has one knob. So one knob not only adjusts the 360, but it also adjusts the ball head. So you loosen it and you're also loosening the ball head at the same time. That's one of the very few downfalls this tripod has. But when you're good to go, done. Fold it up, compact. I don't have to worry about... Okay, now my legs... Oh wait, I wanted to vlog, so now I need to bend it back out so I can vlog with it. Oh wait, I want to vlog. Boom. Just, uh, just adjust your ball head a little bit. Get your angle. Good to go. Now another very, very important feature of any camera gear is the ability to pack it into your camera bag. Here's my camera bag. Sir Yui. I have attached an extra piece of paracord here so I can clip my Sir Yui on and I don't have to worry about losing it. Bam in there, fits snugly in that pocket. Probably don't even have to worry about this. Jobby. Still fits, a lot more bulky, took a little bit more doing to get it in the pocket, had to use the strap to lash it to the bag. Sir Yui. This allows me to still use the pocket, carry a drink, Jobby. Still works, just a little heavier, so it'll probably bounce around a little bit more, but I could still use my drink pocket. Sir Yui, don't have a backpack? No problem. Jobby, don't have a backpack? Sir Yui, backpack. Need to go hands-free for a moment.
Little trick that I use if the carabiner's dangling, I just grip it a little bit lower and I palm it. You just really need to kind of get it with your pinky and you just hold it still and it's fine. Now for the overall longevity and sturdiness. For this one, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Jobby because it just, it falls apart. Literally falls apart after a while. This one I have not had that many troubles with, but I have had one of the legs come off right at the joint. I mean, it's stiff when they're new and they, they work really, really great. The bigger ones for a couple of months. The mini jobbies are work really great for about a month and then they fall apart. They get a little too loose, the legs don't stay stiff. You're trying to use them as a tripod and they dip over. Just the legs constantly pop off on them. These ones, again, the, they're beefier so they do last a little bit longer, but over time, this is just going to deteriorate. Not to say that the Suryui will not deteriorate, but this is just built to last. It's aluminum in construction. It's all mechanical. It's not these joints that slide and can pop out from each other. It's all mechanical. So the legs actually fold out on a hinge. The base twists to lock. So now it actually spins and prevents the leg from coming forward. And if you spin it, you can see there's a gap that allows the leg to come forward. And when you spin it, that gap is blocked. And this is just tension. You unscrew, you tighten it back up. And I have not had any problems with this dipping and I've used this every day for the past like two and a half months or so now I've been using this. And lastly, the overall convenience. I mean, this thing is just, I'm not lying when I say this is the jobby killer. I brought only this with me to London. I had planned on bringing both of these with me because I wasn't sure how the Suryui was gonna handle and it came game day and there was no way I was gonna carry this heavy monstrosity when all I needed was this. This thing is great. I absolutely love it. I've actually purchased one of these for work. I use this with my work camera. I'm often trying to get some nice low shots at work and I'm usually sitting there Indian style trying to hold the camera on my knees, holding my breath and not breathing. I got this. I tried this once for a shoot at work and I said, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Why have I not purchased one of these sooner for work? This thing is amazing. It holds a Panasonic 1000X or X1000. I always forget what that camera's called, but it's, it's a larger prosumer 4K camera and it holds that fine, completely fine. No issues with dive or anything, it's great. I could set it on the tripod and walk away and be completely confident that this is not going to fail me. Don't get me wrong, I still like the Jobby. I'm not gonna throw it away or sell it or anything. I'm gonna keep it around. It still has an actual use for camera gear. If I'm trying to set up two cameras, I got a tripod right here. Those earlier B-roll clips were a bit of an over-exaggeration. Hands down, if you didn't know about this, go out and get one. They are often sold out on Amazon and on B&H, so really, if you see one, I recommend picking it up. Price point, $65 US, $100 US. It's even cheaper. It's sturdier, it's smaller, it's more convenient, it's more versatile, and it's $35 cheaper. If you're just hearing about it now for the first time, if you've been looking at it for a while and you were unsure, get one. Highly recommend it. Hands down, the best mini tripod I have ever used. And I went through a bunch of them trying to find the right little tripod. I have 100% spent more money on junk when I could have just got one of these to begin with. I really wish I knew about this thing sooner. This is by far, hands down, the best tripod I've used for vlogging. It's great. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell down below. I do daily vlogs, I do unboxings, I do product reviews, I do urbex, I do a whole lot of stuff to keep you interested. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Good night.